and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. Ada Takunbo Ogundayan, the genius behind Made in Nigeria armored vehicles. For more than 11 years, Ada Takunbo Ogundayan has silently pioneered Nigeria's armored vehicles industry. He has been using his company, Proforce Defense Limited, to manufacture high-tech armored vehicles and body armor to help combat insecurity in the country. We believe we have what it takes to conquer the market, and we will conquer the market. Not only the Nigerian market, not only the African market, but the world. His products are not only considered good enough for use by government agencies, financial institutions, corporate organizations and diplomatic missions in Nigeria, they are also good enough for export to other African countries, thereby signaling the country's emergence as a security powerhouse on the continent. The alarming rate of insecurity in Nigeria has brought about a compelling need for individuals, organizations and governments at all levels to pay more attention to the issue of security than they hitherto did. And in the near absence of state-guaranteed security, self-help has become the only assurance of security. Every problem has a solution. The increasing rate of insecurity in the country has tasked the ingenuity of Nigerians to find solutions to it, one way or the other, legitimately. One of such Nigerians who have risen to the demand for solutions to the seemingly intractable insecurity in the country is Ada Takunbo Ogundayan, founder of Proforce Defense Limited who is also the company's group managing director. The company is Nigeria's foremost defense solutions provider that specializes in the manufacture of armored vehicles and body armor for government agencies, corporate organizations, the diplomatic community, as well as politically and economically exposed individuals who may have need for high-level security. You may not be very familiar with the name, Ogundayan, because it is not one that rings a bell in the country. But you may be familiar with his products, even if you would not link them to him. When you see police armored personnel carriers parked at strategic corners in cities across the country, especially state capitals as part of security measures, or deployed by the police at scenes of riots, chances are that you have seen Ogundayan's contribution to checking insecurity in the country. When you see police-escorted armored bullion vans convey money at breakneck speed from one location to another in any part of the country, you may be looking at Ogundayan's product. You may not be able to identify an armored sports utility vehicle or saloon cars among the numerous ones that glide past on the streets. But some may be from the stable of Ogundayan's Proforce. Ogundayan is doing what was hitherto considered far-fetched in this part of the world, a clear proof that Nigeria has what it takes to rank with the rest of the world in technology. From the manufacturing plants of Proforce come the following high-profile security vehicles. Armored Personnel Carriers APCs. Armored Tanks Armored SUVs Armored Cash in Transit Vehicles CITs. Tactical Armored Vehicles TAVs. Unmanned Aerial Vehicles UAV Drones Armored Saloons and Sedans Bulletproof Helmets and Vests Military Trucks Infantry Combat Vehicles ICVs. Armored Boots and Marine Vessels Architectural Armoring safe house, rooms for banks and embassies. It is proof of the quality of armored vehicles manufactured by Proforce that they are found suitable for use by institutions with sensitive businesses, like banks and diplomatic missions. The quality of those products must meet international standards to be used by those institutions, especially foreign missions that have no obligations to use Nigerian-made products. What would probably surprise most Nigerians is that Proforce has been in existence since 2008, but has remained relatively unknown, probably due to the sensitive nature of its business, and the fact that its products are not sold in the open market to everybody, or taken off the shelf. They are strictly by order. The company does not produce consumer goods, and is therefore not a mass market producer. Only its patrons know about its existence. As Ogundayan himself said, the company does not go to its clients. Its clients come to it. It's another way of saying that when a company has a product that is meant for a certain category of people, those who need it would locate it, in the same manner a sweet-smelling flower attracts butterflies from far and near to its nectar. In the past 11 years, 
Proforce has been churning out top-of-the-range armored vehicles and equipment that satisfy the security needs of individuals and organizations on their clients' list. It speaks volumes about the company's competence and expertise that even without meeting local needs, it has spread its tentacles to other parts of Africa supplying its products to countries like Rwanda, Central African Republic and South Sudan. This has undoubtedly placed Nigeria on the international map of countries with capability to produce armored vehicles that meet international standards. The growing security challenge in the country means that ProForce's ability to meet local demands is going to be almost always stretched to its limits. From its main factory in Ogun State, the company produces an average of 40 security vehicles per month and about 480 annually. Its second production facility in Port Harcourt produces 15 vehicles per month. A third factory is coming up in Abuja. The company is collaborating with the Defense Industries Corporation of Nigeria DIC, to produce 20 vehicles monthly from its fourth facility in Katsina. At the rate ProForce is going, the country may have no need to import security vehicles the company can produce. Partnership with Nigerian Armed Forces Ogundayan is an invaluable partner to the armed forces of Nigeria. Recently, students of the Nigerian Defense Academy comprising high-ranking officers up to colonels and their equivalent in the other forces visited his company's factory at Ode Remo to have first-hand knowledge of what he is doing. The visit afforded him opportunity to interact with members of the armed forces and exchange ideas on how to improve the nation's security capabilities in the area of military vehicles. For instance, from the interactions, he learnt that due to the high temperature in the northeastern part of Nigeria, imported APCs used in the area tend to face the problem of overheating, with adverse effect on the tyres. He has incorporated such suggestions into the operations of ProForce, such that the company is able to produce APCs that can be described as truly Nigerian, able to withstand conditions in any part of the country. The company has acquired a steel plant in the Sango area of Ogun State for the production of its own steel, the most important requirement in the manufacture of its products. It has also entered into an arrangement with a glass manufacturing company for the production of bulletproof glass. The company would have been able to meet up to 80% technology requirements locally, by the time it produces its own steel and glass. However, despite the effort to produce wholly made in Nigeria vehicles, he still finds it necessary to tap the technological know-how of foreign partners in areas for which he does not have local solutions. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.